This section is about messaging and texting at work. You probably are very familiar with text and instant messaging. So we know that comp large companies and small now have online chats and they have customer service representatives 24 seven. Then you have text messaging. You have SMS. This means it's supplied by a wireless service provider, or you have the rich communication services. And this, this provides advanced features such as a multimedia enhanced text that can be customized. So I'm not going to go through all the definitions, but I will say rich communication services. This is, um, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, WeChat, Skype, and Snapchat, and some browsers have built-in instant messaging chat functions. And I don't know if you've ever heard of Slack. It's one of the most popular enterprise instant messaging and group chat tool. I used Slack when I was in consulting and writing for textbooks. We use Slack a good bit. I like GroupMe. Um, I use that with my accounting class where we can kind of, we're in a group and we can message e each other to feel more like a classroom. It says 81% of Americans now own smartphones and many of them use it for internet access. Present, presence functionality helps employees save time by locating coworkers online. And we'll look at figure 5.2 because it shows a screenshot of that integrated internal communication. So here is an example of an all-in-one messaging on an internal enterprise network. So you can see how they're messaging back and forth. And this is a way for coworkers um, or or colleagues to network. So this is a a network, and it has corporate firewalls so that it protects what, the communication. And so it has the email, the chat, Twitter like short messaging and directory access by phone. So you can see over here where you can chat, email, video, phone. And, but all workers, remember, you need to be professional because you never know who may see the message. And everyone from the rookie coder to the CEO is on the system, so always be professional. And here's some benefits of instant messaging and texting. And I'm not going to go through those because I feel like you are all familiar with that. And so you can read over that slide. All right. And a lot of employees don't like the chat and the messaging because they feel like it is a distraction. And I can see where it would be. And... They're worried about privacy and information being shared. Companies worry about phishing. This is fraudulent schemes, viruses, mal malware, malicious software programs. And please remember that improper use of mobile devices while on company business can expose the organization to staggering legal liability. So, just be careful and always be professional. That's what I always say. Keep it professional. And here are some best practices for instant messaging and texting. Before messaging on the job, be sure to seek approval because unsolicited text messages might seem invasive ask permission first do not download and use third-party apps without checking with your supervisor and make sure you follow these best practices here okay another thing don't text or chat while driving a car pull over if you must read or send a message 
Remember to separate your business contacts from your family and friends. Also, use, let me get back here, use good grammar and correct spelling. Remember, beware of jargon, slang, and abbreviations, which can be confusing and appear unprofessional. All right, we're going to take a look at figure 5-4. It's going to summarize the suggestions they offer for the considerate and professional use of texting. So here is texting etiquette, and I love this figure. This is something you could use to be professional and just as a good visual reminder of texting etiquette. So you can find this in your textbook. This is something that you I would I would recommend that you read over because we all text and we get so comfortable with it that we forget to be professional when it's a, a colleague or a business contact. So just follow this texting etiquette. Now this does not refer to texting friends and family. This is strictly professional texting. And this is talking about Slack and a lot of enterprises, enterprises use instant messaging and the group chat tool. And I have used Slack when I was consulting with textbooks pub publishers. We use Slack. I didn't really like it. Um, it's different. Uh, it is a popular it is popular with small businesses and startups and it kind of instead of them emailing you and filling your inbox up with emails you can use this as a means to communicate the downside is some workers find slack so distracting they refuse to use it it can create spillover of workplace messaging into home life and some users engage in rude behavior on the platform. So that is kind of, some of these I did experience, I felt like it was a distraction. And just remember to follow this Slack etiquette guide. And a lot of times when you use Slack, it seems like you're on social media. So what ends up happening is uh, the people on it end up having informal conversations and use slang. So I think of Slack as a less formal e email. It's a lot more laid back, and I guess that's why it's called Slack.